Hey what's happening here one Sir James from GamerFusion.com coming to you guys with another review and for today's review I'll be going over Just Dance Disney Party for the Xbox 360 Connect. Now Just Dance Disney Party is basically just like the Just Dance games that we all know and love but this one was built around for the smaller age groups basically you know kids that are trying to get more active and try to get involved with these games this game is basically meant for them. Now before I get to the songs in the game, let me go ahead and go over the menu options and what it features all together. Now when you're in the menu section, you have two different ways to go through the menu options. You could either first by using the connect sensor and using your hand movements to select the different options, or you could use the Xbox 360 controller itself, which I would highly recommend because the controller is more responsive and you get through the menus a lot quicker. Once you're on the main page, you have three different options to choose from. You have dance, just create, and parents. Yes, it does say parents on there, trust me. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with just create. Just create, basically, you're allowed to create your own dance video. You could import your um, your pictures, music, and of course videos as well. And basically, just create your own dance video and kind of have fun, you know, personal way. That's pretty much what that sums it up, what it's, it is. And the parents option. The parents option is basically going to be useful, especially for the parents. Now, in the parents option, you have the player tracker, and in player tracker, basically it has the list of dates, the, the amount of time that was played on those dates, and the calories burned. So basically, it's, it has a, it's really well organized to keep you track of how many calories you burned within that amount of time. It also shows the progress on how many points you've earned within each of the game modes. And of course, it also provides some health tips for the parents as well, basically trying to keep your kid healthy and more active and you know giving you some tips on how you could achieve that and there's also an option menu on the parents section as well where you could select to have the lyrics on and off you know the next upcoming moves and of course at the end of the song you could choose to either to have a snapshot or to not have a snapshot but you could use the snapshots in the just create mode now the main mode the main main mode my bad is dance and when you select dance you have the playlist songs and non-stop shuffle playlist obviously you're able to go to the different genres like pop hip hop you know just you know this those type of uh, playlists and select which song you want and non-stop shuffle basically it's going to keep on shuffling songs that are featured in the game which is only 25 by the way which is not much and you just keep on playing and playing and playing until you feel like stopping and of course songs and songs you could select out of the 25 songs that are featured in the game Yes, that's really about it. 25 songs, which is not much. Now, as you're playing the game, do you get to unlock more songs, kind of like the Dance Dance Revolution titles? Unfortunately, no. The maximum songs that's within this game only, unless if there's upcoming DLC, is 25 songs, which is a letdown, by the way. And it doesn't even take you that long to complete the game. Obviously, it's not all about the campaign or anything, because it's just a dancing game. To go out and have fun, invite friends, and just to have fun overall. But out of the songs, uh, and this is something too that's basically the reason why I cannot give this game a 10 out of 10. I mean, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10, but here's why. In the songs, and I went through each one of them, and it's missing. There's something really important missing within this game, and that is the Disney classic songs. You know, I'm talking about, you know, Pocahontas. Aladdin, The Lion King, and so much more. I mean, why are those songs not in this game? I mean, true, you have Tangled, you have Little Mermaid, you also have, I believe it was Cinderella, and then a lot of these Disney XD songs like Hannah Montana, High School Musical, and some other show. Why are those within this game? I know it's on the Disney XD channel, but those shouldn't even be in this game or a priority. We need the Disney classic songs, you know, like from Aladdin, you know, never had a friend like me, or from the Lion King, uh, I can't wait to be king. And just, you know, things like that. Why are those not featured in this game? I know this one is meant for the younger audience and the kids, but come on, if it's Disney, you can't have a Disney game without the classics. Those are important. Now, I'm not sure if those are going to be DLC later on within the year. If it is, I hope to God that they don't charge for those DLCs because that's something that should have been in this game first before worrying about Hannah Montana and High School Musical to be honest. And of course you also have uh, Phileas 
and Ferb as well, which I think is on the XD channel as well. But just like I said, overall, it's a really fun and enjoyable game, especially for the kids and, of course, family members to get involved as well. And you can play up to four players as well. So basically, if you you know your child happens to be playing, or your parent, whichever, who's ever playing the game first, you know it's easy to have you know have more players sign in. All you need to do is jump in, select whatever color you want to play as, and just go out and have fun and dance and burn some calories. But just like I said, overall, it's a ton of fun. That's why I'm giving it a score out of nine. I would have given this game a ten if it had. The Disney classics in here. Like I said, you know, just having the Little Mermaid, Lilo and Stitch, Bolt, and Tangled, that doesn't really cut it for a 10. I mean, it's like I said, you gotta have the Disney classics first. But like I said, it's a ton of fun, great for the kids, definitely well worth picking up, especially if you, if you want to get them off the couches, get them more active, and burn some calories. So if they're too afraid to go outside, then this game is perfect for them, and you could easily get involved and have fun with your child or your parent whichever one you guys are preferring to and so like I said I'm giving it a final score a 9 out of 10 and uh, anyways that's it from my review like I said if you want to check out the full walkthrough for this game you can check out the links down below anyways I'm Sir James from GamerFusion.com and I see you guys in my next connect review